Welcome back to another video with your girl Alexandria Renee. And before we get started, go ahead and click that. Bleh. Go ahead and click that post notification bell and subscribe to my channel so you never miss when I upload a video. And we're just gonna skip the whole rest of that and we're just gonna get straight into this video. I bought another blow dryer. I did. If you go on my channel, you see that I have like four blow dryers already. And I bought another one. So, I have a Sally's bag. And I'm going to unbox it with you guys. Well, unbag it, show you what I got from Sally's. I went ahead and picked up the Conair Pro. I believe that's how you say it. Silverbird blow dryer. Cause I needed a blow dryer with a comb attachment, and the ones that I was, the ones that I had, just weren't doing the job. They weren't. It wasn't it. So I needed another one. I watched some reviews. I remember Kimberly Sherrill using this one, and I seen a few other people using it. They said it was pretty good, so I was like, "All right, it's on sale for forty dollars, so I'm buy it." But I had some coupons at Sally's, so I ended up getting. The Curly Curl Cream, because in my last vlog I talked about how it was empty, so I got this for free. And y'all know, main choice be doing a thing when it comes to the gels, right? But you know they be kind of like expensive. Y'all, what that say? How much is that? What does that say? Three, three fifty nine. I've been wanting to use this, and it was on sale. So, I had to buy it. I could not pass that up. Let's go open it. Let's see. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna open that right now because it's closed. But yeah, so I've been wanting to try this for the longest and I finally got it for $4 and you can't beat that. And I need to hurry up and use it and see if it's good because then I need to go to other Sally's and get more. That's how you do it because they're getting rid of it. So, I got, remind you, this was $40. I got this, and this, and this, for $30. So, I just want to come on here, I'm gonna show y'all that. But the main point of this video is this, because we are about to blow dry my hair, and clip my ends. So, in my last video of, Clipping my ends, I talked about how my hair. I feel like my hair does better when I like get regular trims. So the last time I cut my hair was well, not cut. The last time I trimmed my ends were in October. So before we go into the new year. We want to go into the new year with some healthy hair and i've been kind of feeling like my hair is could be better but i'm not trying to be too hard so i bought a good blow dryer i'm gonna take my time and we're gonna blow dry my ends or blow dry my hair i cannot talk blow dry my hair and see what the ends are looking like so we're gonna try and make this the best blow dry I have ever did but let's see what the blow dryer is it's a little on the heavy side this is nice okay so here's the silver bird blow dryer it's actually really like kind of like nice and sturdy and heavy we have our pretty sure this is the flow how it comes out well yeah and then the red is the temperature then we have the cool shock i need to cut this nail we have the cool shock nice long cord and then of course we have our comb attachment but the real thing is how does it go on here that's that's the yeah is it sturdy when it goes on is it gonna stay in my head? 
We're gonna blow dry. Oh. Okay. That's on there. And then you also have the um the other one it comes with. And then that's it. That's all I needed though. I really just needed it for the comb. So let's let's see how loud it is. Because if y'all know my hot tools one, I said was actually not that loud. So let's see how loud this blow dryer is. And my hair is already washed and sectioned off into fours. And then I twisted half of my head to start blow drying in smaller sections. Um, I didn't twist the other half because I kind of want to get like a comparison pick. So it would have been pointless for me to twist it and then take it down for the picture. Yeah. Ouch. Okay, hold on. The light is going to go off on you guys. Maneuver all this around. Okay. Alright. Let's see how loud she is. That's one. That's two. She gets hot. I don't know if you determined that was loud for you, but it actually wasn't that bad for me. And this is like not a lot of blow dryer either in your hand. I think I'm. A, I think this might be my best friend, y'all. Okay, so I'm starting to get a headache, y'all. So like I said, oh, my hair is already washed. I'm gonna sit down. Oh, you can't see me sitting down either. All right, I'm gonna stand up. So my hair is already washed, and the side is in twist. And um, as far as like leave-in conditioner, I just use the melanin hair care. Um, yeah, I just use their leave-in conditioner. So now we're gonna go ahead, pretty much just get right into this video. I need a brush. Okay, let's do this first section on camera. So I'm gonna use my microfiber towel and kind of just dry it. And some people were saying that they literally just use it on high heat and high flow. So let's try it out. I'm nervous because I just like blow drying my hair and I just, I never get like a real, a really good like blow dry, if you know what I mean. Like, it's never like, damn, that was a good ass blow dry. So that's why I'm like so nervous, but this is what it's looking like. And now let's, I'm gonna do it in real time. So you kind of see how long it takes. So this first piece I'm gonna do in real time. So, I think I'm going to do, put it all on high. All on high. And let's get started. I like this because I'm not even gonna lie I watched some videos at work 
before I bought this blow dryer just to, you know, make sure. And one thing, um, De, De La Soul, I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. The one thing she said was this glides through your hair. And she ain't lied. Like, it really do just glides through your hair without, like, it snagging. And they're real flexible. Y'all, this might be my new friend. Okay, so this is what this section looks like. The ends look a little dusty, dusty. But that's what that looked like. Let me go. I'll go real quick. time y'all i wore I, I made sure i wore a white shirt so that we could see too and then also i'm gonna put my once it's like all blow dried out i'm gonna put my tank top on to see where my hair falls on my tattoo so yeah so that's another way i'm gonna measure but let's go ahead and i'm gonna finish this side and then i'm gonna come back okay we Mm, 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 mm. this is good y'all look at that it's straight and everything my ends y'all see these ends yeah those ends gotta go my hair because i've been doing wash and goes like my hair needs to be cut and we cannot go into the new year oh, let me get closer these ends gotta go so i just wanted to come on here because i said i was gonna come back I didn't put any oil yet. I want to finish um, finish this entire half of my head. And then I'm going to come back and show you like uh, a comparison of like it completely blow dried. And then of course it just natural state. So it feels good. It's nice and soft. And I use, like I said, I use the Melanin Hair Care Leave-In Conditioner. And my hair doesn't feel super dry. Which means I will probably use that for, like, blow dry. Um, maybe I'll buy some more. Unless I find something else. But, okay. Let me go back and finish blow dry. Alright. Time for the comparison comparison pick okay so i'll probably just do like a video for my instagram honestly because the picture felt like i'm not gonna be able to get it good but okay let me stop because <laughs> i'm not like i'm not there's nothing to do to that side so here's what it looks like this is straightforward so this is this side, this side, you can see those ends, gotta go. Let's show you the back. And yeah, all right, let's continue. I'm just gonna put this up. Cause these ends are horrible. And we're going to continue to work in small sections because this blow dryer actually works really good in small sections. Especially, ouch, god damn. Especially if you have um, really thick hair like I do. My hair is really thick and very tight. Tightly coiled. So. The smaller the sections, the better the blow dry because I want as straight as I can get it because like I said, I am trimming my ends. So I'm just taking my microfiber towel, microfiber towel and just getting any excess water off. Detangle real quick. And then we go in with the blow dryer. And then another thing I wanted to come on here and say, um, 
Yes, this gets hot. It gets really good. Not hot to the point that it burns you, but hot enough to get your hair straight. But I noticed that when I'm blow drying, if I turn it all the way up and I'm like going, my hands kind of like knock it, knock the uh, notches. So I think that's really the only con. It's not really a con. It's not that hard to just flip it back. But if there was a con about this blow dryer, that would be the only thing that when you put it all the way here and you're blow drying, your fingers kind of like knock it out. But that's it. All right. Okay, it is all blow dried and this is what it looks like from the back. It's nice and straight and it didn't even take me that long to freaking blow dry, honestly. Like, oh, that blow dryer is amazing, but it looks so good. I'm so happy. Now I'm gonna go through and cut um cut these ends and i'll probably do a flexi rod there you go <laughs> i'll probably do a flexi rod i'm not sure because i feel like my hair is a little too short sometimes but i'm gonna see what i'm gonna do but the silver bird con air blow dryer Speed, heat, perfect. I didn't use the cool shock. I normally use cool shock when I um stretch my hair, and I'll probably use this to stretch my hair. Don't know. Um, the comb attachment stays on there, it is nice and sturdy, and I want to keep this in the best shape as possible because this is nice and sturdy on there. Like you can't even you like gotta I probably shouldn't even twist it while it's on there. I should probably like take it off and twist it to move the comb back and forth you know when i'm trying to blow dry my hair but it got my hair straight pretty fast my hair just reverts back really fast so i'm gonna section my hair off and then go through each section again to cut it just so that it's as straight as possible so i can really you know get a good cut because i'm not flat ironing my hair but this blow dryer is a 10 out of 10 i definitely recommend you guys go and get this blow dryer like i said i got mine from sally's um probably by the time you're seeing this video it probably won't be on sale but it's a pretty penny but it's definitely worth it um yeah thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video i'm not going to show you guys how i cut my hair because i already have a video on that um maybe i'll insert a clip on what it looks like after i cut it but if not, uh, hit the, go in the description box and follow my Instagram. I'm trying to put it at the bottom of this screen. Follow my Instagram if you want to see my bomb results. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.